Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ejada and today I want to do like a summer makeup routine since it's getting really hot where I live. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to start by priming my face again with my favorite primer, the Ole Henriksen. It's really, really good for your face. So right now, I'm actually filming from our hotel room because we're on a little mini getaway for anniversary. We're in Indian Wells, which is like a little city near Palm Springs, and it's like 120 degrees. So that's why I want to show you guys how I do my foundation, how I do my whole makeup for the summertime, you know? Because it's really, really hot and I hate to, like, I, I usually sweat a lot, like, especially from my neck area and from the back here. So I'm going to try to make sure that I do more of a matte look, but still with a pretty, you know, um, highlight. So after I'm done priming my face, I actually uh, want to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless um, Putty Primer. And I know this stuff is like sold out like in a lot of places, but they like recently restocked it um, on the Ulta's website. So that I ordered two because there was like a limit of ordering two, which so I ordered one for me and one for my sister. But this is the dupe for that Tatcha Perfecting Canvas. I'll also put a picture which one is a dupe for. All right, so now that I have my face um, fully primed, I want to go and do my eyes first. Um, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution, this one right here. Um, it's the Reloaded in Velvet Rose. And for the summer, I tend not to go all crazy out with my eyeshadow, so I'll only do like two eyeshadows at one time. So I'm going to go in with this one right here to put all over my lid. And it's more like a skin tone color like it's not much but it's just like going to be more of a transition shade so what you want to do is always just make sure you're blending in all right now i'm going to take um another one so the the brush that i was using was a lexi 250 large eye blending brush and now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild. This, these are only like $1 or $2 and they blend really good. And I'm going to go in with this little Copper Tony shade right here. So in the summertime, I try not, like I said, to put on so much eyeshadow because it's so hot. And, you know, I don't want to create like I'm already sweating enough, or, especially because I sweat a lot. So I don't want to make sure, you know, that it's just like maybe too two eyeshadow colors just nicely blended looks crazy right now but once we have eyeliner and eyelashes it will look so much better alrighty so now I'm gonna go in and put some eyeliner Alright, after we do some eyeliner, now I'm going to go in and curl my lashes so I can apply some mascara so I can put my falsies on. And like I said, my favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Alright, for my lashes today, I'll be wearing the Lily Lashes in Teeth. And these are only $20 at Sephora. They're the light mink ones. An everyday natural lash. And I got them, like I said, in tees. I'm going to go in with my favorite eyelash glue, which is the Duo. I'm just going to put the glue on the lash band. Alright, so make sure you always apply eyeliner first so they can look more natural. 
another really good tip is to make sure that you let these dry for like at least 30 seconds before you apply them make sure that the glue is really tacky all right after i know that it's kind of tacky after like 30 seconds um i always place them i look down and i place i try to place them in the middle like that and then i go in with my fingers I find it easier than with tweezers and you try to put it closest to your eyelash line as much as you can so try to apply it with like light pressure at first to make sure that it just stays on there make sure that the glue stays try to make sure you do that just like that And then just let it sit there and let it get, um, you know, let it really stick to your eyelash. So then let me go from the other side with my other one. Another great tip is to make sure that you're keeping them at like an eye shape. So make sure you're not like putting them straight. Make sure that they keep that little eye shape like that. All right, so now that we have our eyelashes on, we're going to go on with um, foundation. So... The foundation that I'll be wearing today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I have it in 3W1 Tawny. So say my makeup shade on the MAC is like an NC35. So if you're anywhere close to that, then this will probably match you. And like I said, this one's in Tawny 3W1. So I'm going to grab my favorite um, blender, which is a Sonia Kashuk. And that's why I always put, um, you know, primer way before my foundation. That way it sinks into my pores. And I'll do half of my face so you guys can see how beautiful this foundation works. The other one that I love is the Kat Von D. But I feel like, yeah, it's really, it's thick and it works really good, but... I also want to show you guys that the Estee Lauder Double Wear is just as really good and it's not it's like more of a lightweight foundation in case you guys don't like to feel all cakey and you can build this one up the Kat Von D I feel like it's just full coverage just even with one pump but this one's like medium to full coverage and if you use like two pumps all over your face it'll give you a really nice full coverage Make sure to bring it down to your neck. See, like the difference between no foundation. You can see all my imperfections. And then to foundation. I'm like, oh, I swear, I can't live without foundation. Like, even if you just have foundation on, nothing else, like your skin will look so good. Alright, so now I'm going to go with the concealer. I'm going to go in first with the dark one to, um, to contour. And remember this stuff, like the e.l.f. concealer is only $5 and it works amazing. So now I'm going to go in with my flat kabuki from BH Cosmetics and this is a 123. Oh, I'm just going to start blending that out. And I'm going to leave the nose one like this while I put my concealer. And this one I have it in tan sand. I have the, me I think it's medium, medium sand. And I feel like that's a little bit too light for me, but this one works good. So if you're more like an olive tone like me, I would recommend the um, tan sand. 
and if you are a little olive tone and lighter shade than I am, then I would recommend the medium sand one for you guys. We're going to go back with our sponge and press that into our skin. I try to look up so it won't crease on me, but it's really hard to not look down. And this one is really full coverage, so there's no need for you to spend more than $20 on a concealer when this one's five and you can get like four for the price of one. I'm like foundation, I do, I try to spend a little bit more money on that, but everything else, I try to save money. Especially if you're a mom, then you know, like you think about your kids first <laughs> instead of yourself. So then I try to budget myself. They buy more drugstore or, you know, more affordable brands. With a smaller, um, it's a blending brush for my nose. To make it look more snatched. going to set our face with some translucent powder and my favorite translucent powder is the Kat Von D. So let's get some of that. And then for this to make sure that we're not sweating like by half of the day especially in the, with this hot weather we want to make sure we really really press it into our pores. So just grab some and press. Now I'm going to put a little bit on my nose to make sure because I, I usually sweat like on my T-zone really bad. usually get really oily. So we want to make sure we put some there. Make sure you always use translucent powder if you want a really beautiful full coverage foundation to make sure it really stands out. And now I use a Morphe um, blending sponge. I, I really don't like it for foundation, but I do love it to set my powder on my face because it just has like a flat surface. And it gets really good right here to define and contour your, um, your bronzer. See, it's really good in there. All right, after this, we wanna make sure we take off, um, just make sure it's been like a couple minutes and then you wanna take off all your translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go in with a bigger um, brush like this one right here. I think I got this one at Walmart to make sure that we're blending everything inside. Make sure it's not, doesn't look patchy. Sure it's nice and blended. Make sure that this brush doesn't have any product in it. I'll make sure it's a clean brush to just... Okay. So now we're going to go in with blush. Alright, so the next thing we're going to go in with blush, but I just realized that I forgot my blush. So we're going to improvise. So you know what? We're going to go with our Revolution palette, the one that I used for my eyes. And I'm just going to pick out maybe like a peachy tone. I don't know. Which one should I go with? I mean, I can go with this one mixed too. Hmm. All right. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to go with that. This one right here. It looks like a peachy, corally tone. Let me see how that goes. We have to improvise. I mean, you can't really tell. I might have to go in with a darker shade. Hmm. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna choose two. So I think I'm gonna choose this one right here and maybe that one. Okay, let me see what that does. Oh gosh, I'm so scared to use. Now we're gonna go in with highlight and I went to Sephora today with my husband to because um I forgot I guess my highlight too well I mean I brought one but I don't really care for that one so I went to Sephora and I picked up a new highlighter and I was looking for the Amrezi one from Anastasia um, Beverly Hills but I don't think they I think they're like either they're sold out everywhere or they probably discontinued it I'm not sure but they obviously didn't have it. So then I was looking around and I saw the Sephora collection. And this is a Golden Hour highlighting powder in the shade Dawn. And it's so beautiful. I tried it on my hand and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush. This one right here. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's like perfect for the summer. And then... And it's only $16. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. So then I always go right here on top of my eyebrow bone. A little bit on the tip of my nose to make sure that our nose really stands out. Oh, so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Look at that. So pretty. I think this is like my favorite highlight now. And $16 is not that bad. Compared to like $40 for other brands. Alright, so now that we have our highlight on, we're going to go in with the lips. And I also bought the, um, at Sephora, I bought the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Interview. And I've been, I was looking for the one, I think it's called Graduation Day, but they were sold out. I was like bummed out. So let me line my lips just a little bit and i'm gonna go in with the nyx um matte lip liner in sandstorm and now we're gonna go in with their huda beauty matte lipstick in interview oh i like the formula even though it's a matte it's still creamy. Alright, now I want like all the shades because the, the formulation is really, really good. Alright, and now our final step is to set our face. And like I said, the best setting spray mist that will last you all day is from Morphe. It works really, really good. all right guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you got something really good out of it this foundation um routine will last you all day long it's perfect for the summer and i'm really really impressed with the highlight it was only 16 dollars, and it's from the sephora collection and it's in the um the shade zero two dawn it's really beautiful i'm actually really impressed I'm probably going to go pick up more some more stuff from the Sephora collection. But don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you really think it came out really pretty. And yeah, please subscribe. Don't forget because it's 99% it's free. So thank you so much again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.